We're going to win. Brilliant. Oh, you're right, YouTube. So I'm outside on an away day with uh, Manchester City fans. So like in other previous matches, I'm going to try and get to know them before I go into the stadium and see what they think about different questions. So here we go. How much money do you think it costs to get class? <laughs> How much money? I don't think it's about the money. I think it's... Uh, with really, it's a lot about the money with City, though, isn't it? No, it's not. People are saying that, but it's a case of... Most people say that, though, don't they? Getting people to come here. Bloody hell, you tell me, Harry. Enough. Uh, Enough. Enough. Do you think Enough. City have spent enough yet? Maybe not. Now they're at Arsenal. Well, do you... We've been spending money for 30 years. We've been spending it for four years. What's uh, the difference? Net transfer spend from Arsene Wenger over the last 15 years, two million per season. How much did Man City spend last season? I've no idea. Doesn't matter, does it? It does when it comes to class, though, doesn't it? No, not really. Um, how do you think the game's going to go today? Fucking brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you think the score's going to be? Three nil. 3-0 to yeah. City. Yes. Is there any class in letting someone do that for you by just pumping money in? Oh, absolutely fine. They're not. They're not pumping all that money, all that much in. Don't believe it. That's an endless, an endless amount. So you, you haven't spent enough yet, then, have you? No. He's never spent enough when it comes to football, is it? I mean, look at the money's going around at the moment. Arsenal haven't spent much, but we have class. <laughs> I can see where this interview is going. All right, YouTube. So I've just got back from the Man City Arsenal game, and I want to, rather than going straight to the match, I just want to talk about the experience on the day. So I did some film and footage before, which you've just seen, which was brilliant. People were really receptive to it, and it was a good laugh between fans. So I really enjoyed that. Then we got chatting with this lovely couple who went through about how they watch the academy, about their experiences when they go to Arsenal and how much they enjoy it. And it was a really nice chat. There was lots of banter going around and it was a re just a really present experience pre-match. Then, during the match, there's great crap going back and forth. So there were chants about Gary Neville between both the City and Arsenal fans. We all clapped each other and applauded each other. City have some brilliant, really funny, witty chants, which were great. We were literally sitting around five people away from the City fans and six rows from the front. So we were like real with the City fans. And it was all good banter between everyone until the goal went in. And it's just so childish the way people behave. So here is the lighter which hit Messi Minutes, who I was with at the game next to me, square in the head. Completely unnecessary. I then said to the, um, not the steward, but an actual police officer that was right opposite us and said, well, what are you going to do about that? And he says, turn around, shut the up. Oh, oh, crazy. So that was really disappointing. After the game, I would have loved to have filmed this and gone through the day and stuff actually at the stadium. But as we were leaving, the away fans, the Arsenal fans on the coaches were all penned in, ready to go. And there were people, literally, Man City fans, jumping at the cages to try and get in and shout abuse at the Arsenal fans. Just completely crazy. I'm sure the Arsenal fans were goading in some way during the match and during the outside stuff. But still, it's just completely unnecessary. I've been to a lot of away matches and the only time I've ever felt like people were getting a bit silly was Tottenham away and that's a derby and you kind of accept, expect it but the way City fans were behaving were really disappointing so I just want to kick that out at the start. In terms of the match and the performance, really pleased with it. I think Minone didn't do enough to justify being number one and I think Chesney will be back when he's back from injury. I think defensively Mertesacker was superb. He hardly put a foot wrong so really pleased with the way his season's going. Koscielny considering he hasn't really started a match yet this season did a brilliant job to fit in for Vermaelen so you can't complain with them. Jenkinson is looking like an actual right back. Last season you couldn't say that but this season he looks like a genuine right back. Will he keep his place when Sanya gets back? Of course not. Sanya will come in but Jenkinson has done himself no harm. Really top performance. Gibbs on the other side, brilliant as well. In terms of the front lot, I think Jovino's form went back to what it was last season today. I think the goals that he's got in the last few games, people have kind of thought, oh, he's turning it around. But when you look at the goals, it was a tap-in. The first goal against Southampton, he was clearly trying to shoot across the goalkeeper and it went near post, so he got his angles all wrong, so you've got to take that into account. And the goal against Montpellier, he tried his hardest to hit it straight at the keeper who nearly saved it. His touch and his performance today was really poor. I also questioned the substitutes from Wenger, which were a bit confusing, but that's being ultra critical. We deserved probably to win that game, and that's at the home of the champions. Man City sat back in that second half, and we just took advantage of it. So it was really pleasing to see that we stood up, we were counted, we were strong, we were creative. We did everything that we used to do well. So all round, really good performance. Getting back was a nightmare because the weather was horrendous, and the way the fans reacted at the end was quite disappointing. I, 
I did enjoy the Arsenal celebrations during the Poznan, thoroughly enjoyed that, so we can do that more often. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to comment about how you think we're going to do against Chelsea, would three points make these four points title winning? I don't know. Comment down below on whether you think a win next week would make us title contenders, or whether we already are title contenders. Thanks again for watching the video. If you've got any other comments about what I'm doing, then make sure you put them down below. Make sure you like the video if you've enjoyed it. And if you want more videos coming up, Chelsea at Home next week, for example, then make sure you subscribe so you get all the videos. Thank you very much. Boom. Or do we go back to Chesney? I want to hear your comments. I think in a game like Man City away, we've got to go with what we know, and that's Chesney. But comment down below if you disagree. In terms of defence, I think for Marlin, ridiculous tackle.